Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And oh boy, today I got my work cut out for me. So I got this head all cleaned up here as you can see. And I'm gonna do some powder coating on it. I'm gonna powder coat it with an anodized red color, something like you would see on modern hubs. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a powder coat. And I wanna get this all done today so I can put this head back on the motor, get it all bolted down, put the all the covers back on and get this motor back into the frame here. Did a little bit more work on the frame. I cleaned it all down, or I polished it all down with a scotch bright wheel on the die grinder so it's looking super fresh. So we need to get this motor ready to go. All right guys, got our powders right here ordered these powders up a couple days ago from prismatic powders i'm gonna have the link to all the powders that i'm using in this video in the description so in here should be four different powders and some other accessories so we got a roll of two inch high heat tape we've got an anodized blue top coat powder here we've got our dazzling red here and this is our Super Chrome Plus. And then right here I just ordered a matte black. No, sorry, gloss black powder. So here's that. Let's get throwing them on. So first I'm going to need to tape up the head so that I don't get any paint on the ceiling surfaces like the spark plug, you know, don't want anything in the water pump. So get that done, then we can start painting. There's a little bit of a mess over here, but first thing that we're gonna do for this head, is I'm gonna put it in the oven here and give it 10 minutes or so at 400 degrees to heat up and get bake all those gases out because this is the cylinder head, so it is gonna be exposed to gas and oil, and the premix, obviously, and coolant through the coolant chambers so we're going to want to bake all that out so it's a nice clean part for the paint to stick to so i got this toaster oven here got plugged in so i'm going to turn it to 15 minutes here on the clock so it'll give it a couple minutes to warm up and then i'll have probably about 12 minutes to cook so i'll let it go in there while i get everything else ready all right, so here's the powder coating system that I'm gonna be using in this video. So it is a powder coating system by Central Machinery. Got it from Harbor Freight. It's about $75 or so. And I've already done some testing with it. Uh, I'll throw up a picture. I already coated the RC valve for this CR250 in it. So you can see my ground clips got some powder coat on it and there's some powder in the gun itself so I'm gonna need to blow it all out with compressed air make sure it's all clean and I'm gonna blow some through it before I get to coating just so that there's none of that black I was using some matte black so I'm gonna want to get all that off of this system before I start spraying that chrome so we don't have any conflicting colors all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this little jug I guess you can call it for the powder there's still a bunch of powder in there and matte black I'll dump that back into its container try and get most of it in here as I can blow it all off and then I'll wipe off these parts right here Let's say that's probably as good as I'm going to get. I'm going to have to go inside here because it's starting to snow. Imagine that. The head's done cooking in the oven here, letting it cool down right now. But I'm going to get this, some of this chrome into a little jar right here. I don't know what you want to call it. Not gonna need too much, but you wanna have enough to get it going. You can always pour it back in. That's probably enough. So 
Uh, close this bag up. I'm gonna definitely use a lot more of this. Just wanted to give you guys a test run here with this head. All right, so our part here is starting to cool down. Still a little bit hot to the touch, but I'm gonna start wiping it down with some acetone. So let me get a fresh paper towel. Got some acetone here. Get some on the paper towel. So, yeah, you wanna wipe this down. Get any of those old fluids that might be residing there off. All right, I'm gonna start by taping off this bottom side here. So I'm gonna take our tape here. I got the two inch instead of the one inch just because I felt that it'd be a little bit more versatile, versatile in this garage setting. Cleaned up these scissors a little bit. All right guys, camera's a little bit far away, but what you're gonna do, take this grounding clamp here, you're gonna clamp it on to part. All right, we've got enough of a hole for that grounding clamp. Now I just gotta get it in, like so. And now the powder should be able to get through there. Now we gotta hook our powder coating gun to the air. I've got this at 30 PSI. I'm not gonna test it because I already got the powder in here. So I throw on my respirator and I'll get spraying up. Another thing to note is that there is like a little, um, what would you call that? Foot switch on this setup that energizes the whole system, energizes the powder when you start spraying. So flip the power supply on, press that, and spray. Got it coated. Could use a little bit more airflow, but I don't know. Good. Coated. So into the oven for 15 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll get it to 375 and then I'll turn up to around 17 because you got to wait for the oven to heat up. All right, guys. I'll try and zoom in on that in the video a little bit, but you can see it's starting to glaze over in there. So I'm gonna make sure the timer's at 15 minutes now. And it's 15 minutes to bake. Once it's done, it should be a chrome. All right guys, while I finish waiting for that chrome to cure, I'm gonna get this dazzling red powder ready. Like I said earlier, all the powders that I used in this video are gonna be linked in the description. Stuff is very red. There we go. My hand's all red now. So I'm gonna get this on to the system and then wait for this part to cool down and we can put the red on. All right guys, the just went off. Seats super chrome. All right guys, here's the head. Outside now, snow's kinda stopped but I'm under the umbrella just in case. It's about 135 degrees right now. It's cool and quick outside though. Let me get this ground clamp hooked back up. 
here and let's spray the red. All right guys, got it pretty good. Didn't have as much powder in there as I needed in the system, but give it a shot. Let's bake it up, see how it looks. All right guys, here's the finished product. Looks pretty good here. Camera's bringing to shut off here. A little bit too much at the top. Still a really good color. I had to spray two coats because I missed a little bit right here around the edge, but got it with the second coat and the top won't matter too much because you're not really gonna see it. So let's get it bolted onto the bike.